Secretary Government of Odisha, MSME Department, and I extend a very warm welcome to you all. Now I will request our guests of honor to be in the stage. Now I request our Honorable Minister Sri Gokulanand Malik sir to join us on the stage. I will also request Sri Heman Sarma sir, Principal Secretary, Professor Prabhat Kumar Rahul sir. Vice Chancellor OUAT, <laughs> Sri D. Prasant Kumar Reddy, our Director of Industry, Dr. Kamlesh Misra, President Odisha Seafoods Exporter Association, and Sri Amit Pat Joshi, CEO of Palladium India. I will now request uh, the team Palladium to welcome our guests with a flower bouquet. Honorable Minister, sir. <laughs> Principal Secretary, sir. <laughs> Vice Chancellor OUIT, sir. Sri Reddy, our Director of Industry, <laughs> Dr. Kamlesh Misra, <laughs> Sri Amit Padjus. Odisha and food processing sector, the topic doesn't need any introduction. As we know, Odisha is rich with the abundant natural resources and uh, food processing industries. And uh, uh, the development, the growth of Odisha since last uh, two decades or so, it has been exemplary. And uh, one of the prime movers of this industrial development is uh, principal our principal secretary, Sri Heman Sarma, sir. Now, without uh, wasting any time, I will request our Principal Secretary, Heman Sarma, sir, uh, to uh, give his uh, welcome address, uh, sir. Honorable Minister, MSME, Fisheries and Animal Resource Development, Government of Odisha, Shri Gokulanand Malikji, who is the chief guest in the Odisha State Session today in the World Food India Event 2024. My colleague, Special Secretary in the Department, Shri Bibhuti Bhushan Das. My colleague, Director of Industries, Shri Prashant Reddy. The CEO of Palladium, Mr. Amit Pat Joshi. Dr. Kamlesh Mishra, the representative from the seafood exporters from Odisha, Mr. Raul, the Vice Chancellor of OUAT, who himself is a very well-known scientist in the agriculture field, the, uh, invited audience, members of the food processing industry from the neighboring region, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, on behalf of Comment of Odisha, I extend a very warm welcome to all of you who have taken time out of your busy schedules and have also taken time out from this wonderful exhibition, which has been mounted here by Ministry of Food Processing Industries Government of India, in association with about 20 states who have participated. All the leading food processing industry representatives are also there. And it must have been a very busy day for all of you for having taking rounds of the exhibition, going to different stalls, visiting different state pavilions, trying to learn about the policies and prospects of different states. So, a very warm welcome to all of you for this Odisha session. I will just give you a very brief introduction about what the government of Odisha has been trying to do in the recent past about setting up of 
new food processing industries in the state what kind of policy provisions exist and what kind of industries have already come what kind of industries are we trying to attract in future and what kind of infrastructure support we provide to industries particularly in the food processing sector odisha as you all know is a land on the eastern seaboard of india on the bay of bengal and we are blessed by geographical advantage the geographical advantage is that a we are a coastal state we are a port based state we have a 480 kilometers long coastline and therefore we are one of the rare states in india which are blessed by not only a good agro climatic condition but also coastal in nature there are states in india who have good wide varying variety of agro climatic conditions and zones but are non coastal in nature for instance uttar pradesh or madhya pradesh or even bihar or jharkhand uh, these are states which have very a huge variety of agro climatic zones but are not coastal in nature odisha is a state which has a similar agro climatic condition a variety of zones but also is coastal in nature which means that we are blessed twice by uh, by the god in geographical terms how advantageous it is for food processing industry we should understand that this varied agricultural zone gives us a wide variety of agri produce and coastal nature gives us not only a wide variety of sea produce but also brackish water sweet water and a mix of both so we are very rich in agricultural terms we are also rich in terms of animal resources we are also very rich in terms of fisheries resources therefore all the varieties of food which generally are used for processing and are important for food processing industry are found in abundance in odisha we also are very rich in water we have 4% of india's land land mass but we have 11% of india's uh, water sweet water resources therefore as you all know agriculture uh, particularly agri intensive agriculture is heavily dependent on water and this advantage of having abundance of water makes us agriculture very rich the land is also very fertile there are different agro climatic zones and therefore the abundance of abundance and surplus of food produce different crops different varieties are there in the state of orissa the fact that we are coastal also makes us important for export oriented food processing industries wherever there is an import of uh, raw material required our ports are there are available or wherever export of finished goods is required again ports play a big role recently we have started a, a containerized cargo operation terminal at at paradeep port Uh, where we provide viability gap for funding for any import or our export of containerized cargo as a result of which the export from odisha are which earlier used to happen from visakhapatnam or haldia or other ports have now started uh, originating and happening from the paradeep port itself lots of vegetables fresh fruit and vegetables are also now being exported from odisha because of the uh, air cargo operations which have started from the bhuvaneshwar port now all these uh, aspects of of orissa are related to our geography for specifically food processing industries in terms of policy provisions we have brought out a very good food processing policy as a part of our industrial policy our industrial policy categorizes food processing industries as a priority sector and it also uh, uh, categorizes the packaging industry as a priority sector food processing industry has two important requirement a there should be abundance of raw material to process b the packaging industry should also come up simultaneously there cannot can be no food processing industry without a vibrant packaging industry also so our policy industrial policy promotes food processing industry as an industry plus it also promotes packaging industry as a stand alone different industry which means that food processors if they tie up with packages packaging industry is also incentivized otherwise stand alone packaging industry is also incentivized and as a, as a result of which in the recent past we have got a lot of attention from the major food processing players for instance indo nissin which is a very large uh, very well known manufacturer of noodles in the country has today its largest plant in india is in bhuvaneshwar in odisha similarly britannia parley agro itc hindustan unilever through franchisee operations or parley uh, the 
uh, biscuits uh, uh, vertical apart from the drinks vertical in uh, the un unmol priya gold and also other regional players have their presence in odisha reason is that since our policies are good so you take advantage of the policy of odisha and while serving the market of odisha you can also serve the neighboring markets of bengal jharkhand chatisgarh and andhra pradesh so plants which are located in let's say baleshwar in odisha which is very close to bengal they are benefited because they get the benefits of industrial policies of odisha high capital investment subsidy low cost of land low power tariff and abundance of skilled workers but they are able to serve odisha market as well as they can serve the bengal market this kind of a advantage is available in western odisha in sambalpur bargad and jharsuguda similarly in southern odisha in ganjam gajpati raigada koraput where you can actually manufacture in odisha serve the odisha market but also simultaneously serve the southern indian states of andhra telangana and you can even go up to tamil nadu and karnataka so the advantage of odisha basically comes from a its geographical location b its good set of policies where food processing industry is heavily incentivized the details of the incentive etc will be provided to you by my colleague uh, prashant reddy uh, a little later uh, similarly in terms of infrastructure what is it that we have done for promoting food processing industry the infrastructure required for it so we have set up a large number of food parks uh, close to the state capital in bhubaneswar and khurda in katak in kalahandi in sambalpur in bargad and now there are upcoming four new food parks also are being set up where common infrastructure which is required by food processing industries for example example cold storages or packaging in the infrastructure or food testing laboratories are being set up by the state government as a common infrastructure and the industries are given well developed pl plots of plots of land recently we have started another initiative of vendor parks for instance when nestle is setting up one of its large factories in odisha close to khurda we have given 80 acres of land to nestle but on its boundary we have given 20 acres of land to vendors of nestle who have come from maharashtra who have come from bengal who have come from madhya pradesh so if nestle does the main uh, processing but the packaging requirements are done by its vendors and their vendors are also co located similarly if the bulk raw material which is brought by nestle is further processed by its vendors and the vendors are also co located close to or on the boundary of uh, of nestle similar thing we have done uh, for hindustan coca cola beverages or also with varun beverages where their packagers or their other raw material suppliers or packaging material suppliers are also co located they are located across the fence this gives tremendous logistics advantage and cost savings to the bulk uh, and large manufacturers when it comes to uh, small and medium enterprises we have two policies one is the food processing policy and there is another policy the msme development policy which provides additional benefits in terms of interest subvention employee benefit measures rnd or uh, marketing assistance to specifically food processing industry which are in the msme category and i am really very happy to uh, inform all of you that our policies have got good traction there is good uh, uh, amount of uh, awareness which has been generated and most of the neighboring states the major players from neighboring states that is from bengal or jharkhand or chatisgarh or andhra wherever they are expanding now they are now certainly taking uh, an a look at odisha and many of them are setting up their second or third or fourth plants in odisha just to give you another example uh, when indonesian first came to odisha in 2015 16 they set up a very small factory just as a test case when they saw the advantages of odisha good reliable power very good supply of skilled workers peaceful environment no labor issues abundant supply of water support from the state government administrative support from the administration they actually doubled the capacity within 3 years now if you compare the capacity of 15 16 with 23 24 the capacity is five times of what they set up they have had, they have done three expansions in this intervening period same thing has happened with britannia same thing has britannia now has three plants in odisha in fact recently about about a couple of months ago you must have read that the, the britannia faced certain issues in bengal when one of its oldest plants and most successful plants was facing law and order problems the entire operations uh, were uh, 
so our Brit Britannia's entire Eastern Indian marketing support was being provided by its two factories located in Orissa and it has happened in the past also. So Orissa is a good place to do business, particularly for food processing industry, it is a good place because the, uh, in, the, in the Eastern region, if you look at the Eastern uh, region, you will find that uh, Orissa is, is a land of peace and prosperity. Politically also it is very stable and our new government under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister Shri Mohan Chand Maji is now very closely working with government of India and all the policies which we have in our state are in sync with the government of India policies. So you will find twin support. You will find the support from government of India as well as very active and proactive support from the state government. So this is a good place. Odisha is a good place to work with. We have a very good single window system through which we are able to clear your applications for licenses, permits, approvals, etc. in a very short period of time without, without uh, much hassles. And there are large number of such success stories which we can discuss one-on-one -on -one with you. In case you are interested, you can contact our team members here. We are here in the exhibition also for a period of three days. Our entire team is here. You have, if you have any queries later today in the evening or maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow, you can address all your queries to us. And we have a very simple system of single window approval sitting here itself. You can apply. It takes about not more than 15, 20 minutes to apply. And we do not take more than 30 days to provide the basic approvals. Uh, so once again, I extend a very warm welcome to all of you. During the course of the day, you will hear from my colleagues also. He will give you, each one of us will give you some specific detail about our area of operation. And later on, uh, after the meeting is over also, you can address your queries to us. With these words, I uh, conclude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Listening to you is almost like referring to encyclopedia, sir. I am <laughs> really, it's always a delight, sir. Now I request our uh, Honorable Minister, Sri Gokulananda Malik, sir, uh, who has shown his uh, depth and the enthusiasm in this uh, sector. Only in 100 days he has become really as good as a uh, very expert in this sector. I will request, sir, to give the keynote address, sir. Please. Jai Jagarnath. Jai Jagarnath. Dignity on the dais. Sri Hemant Sarma, Principal Secretary, MSM Department, Government of Orissa. Sri Bibhuti Bhushan Das, Special Secretary, MSM Department, Government of Orissa. Professor. Prabhat Kumar Raul, Vice Chancellor, Odisha University of Agriculture and Technology, Bhubaneswar, Sri D. Prashant Kumar Reddy, Director, Industry, Odisha, Sri Amit Patjoshi, CEO, Palamud, India, Sri Kamles Misra, President, Odisha Seafood Export Association, and a media represent honorable guest, dice and a gentleman. Very good evening to all. It's my pleasure to join you for the, this season section and uh, unlocking in the favor of the Odisha opportunity in food processing on the occasion of the World Food India 2024 to address the invited guests. Especially, especially industry experts, startup, policy maker, and stakeholder who have the join us from all over the country. It's today confirmed I delighted the meeting of the mind of food entrepreneurs and startup particular participants. Today I want to tell you one or two things. Our principal secretary has told you that we have a government in Odisha double engine government. We have a land वाटर है हमारा जो ओडिशा में लॉर्ड जगन्नाथ कृपा से ओडिशा पहले से ही सब कुछ प्राकृतिक संपद में भरपूर है 
ओडिशा का लोग जो अभी प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरी हमारा हेमंत शर्मा जी बताए हैं बहुत मेहनत ही है वो मेहनत करते हैं मेहनत में जीते हैं और वेरी सिंपल है जो बोलते कि सिंपल लिविंग हाई थिंकिंग सरल जीवन जापन करते हैं हम उच्च आकांक्षा रखते हैं इसलिए आपका सहयोगी आपका भागीदारी हम सबको जगन्नाथ धाम को आपको सबको निमंत्रण करते हैं आप आइए हमारा गवर्नमेंट के तरफ से अभी जो हमारा गवर्नमेंट है अभी पीपल्स गवर्नमेंट चल रहा है वहाँ जो बोले कि हमारा सेक्रेटरी अब सब कुछ तो बता दिए है सिंगल विंडो में कौन कोई भी दिक्कत आपको नहीं आएगा जमीन के लिए भी हमारे पास लार्जेस्ट जमीन है हमारे पास अभी जो बोलते सीजनरी बहुत कुछ फूड्स है जो अभी इंडस्ट्री डालने के लिए चाहते हैं उनके लिए अभी सही टाइम है अभी हमारे पास मैं दो तीन बात बताऊंगा अभी फास्ट इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ स्वीट पोटैटो इन इंडिया भारत में हम अभी एक नंबर में है ओडिशा अभी सेकंड लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ सनफ्लावर एंड थर्ड लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ काशू नट्स एंड जैक फ्रूट एंड जिंजर फोर्थ लार्जेस्ट सिंपली प्रोड्यूसर एंड ए फोर्थ लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ द टोमाटोज फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ रेड चिली एंड राइस सिक्सथ लार्जेस्ट कोकोनट एंड गार्लिक प्रोड्यूसर सेवेंथ लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ वेजिटेबल टेंथ लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ एग्स इट इज अ मेजर प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ प्याडी ऑयल सीड पोटैटो कॉर्न स्पाइस एंड सिक्स हंड्रेड सिक्स सिक्सटी मैट्रिक टन अरबिक कॉफी इज प्रोड्यूस इन कोरापुट एंड ओडिशा प्रोड्यूसर टू थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड सिक्सटी नाइन लाख मैट्रिक टन मिलेट ओडिशा डेडिकेटेड फूड प्रोसेसिंग पॉलिसी टू जीरो टू 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 कैटर द होलिस्टिक एंड ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द सेक्टर इन द स्टेट अदर पॉलिसी ऑफ द स्टेट नेमली एम एच एम ई पॉलिस टू जीरो टू टू एंड इंडस्ट्रियल पॉलिस रिजोनल्स टू जीरो टू टू ऑल्सो फोकस बोथ फिजिकल एंड नॉन फिजिकल फिजिकल इन्वेस्टर्स एंड करीडिंग फ्री प्री एंड पोस्ट प्रोडक्शन प्रोडक्शन सपोर्ट ऑफ द ग्रोथ एम एस एम ई एंड ए लार्ज इंडस्ट्री यूनिट्स दिस सपोर्ट आर द एक्सटेंड थ्रो थर्टी वन डिस्ट्रिक्ट इंडस्ट्री सेंटर एंड टू एंड प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ इंसेंटिव प्रपोजल हाज बी इन द मेन ऑनलाइन ए आई एम टू टू पॉइंट टू जीरो पोर्टल इन ऑर्डर ऑफ द प्रोवाइड हासेल्स फ्री सर्विस ऑफ द इंटरप्रनर्स भर्टिकल नेमली फैसिलेशन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फाइनेंसिंग मेक हासेस एंड एंटरप्रनरशिप आर क्रिएट का क्रिटिकल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फूड सेक्टर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ ओडिशा प्ले ए इम्पोर्टाट रोल इन ऑल दीज भर्टिकल्स बोथ सेंट्रल एंड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट कंटिन्यू टू द सपोर्ट द सेक्टर थ्रो पॉलिसी इनिशिएटिव एंड वेरियस स्कीम फॉर प्रोडक्शन एंड सेंटेनाइज एंड एम एस एम ई इंक्लूडिंग फूड प्रोसेसिंग यूनिटी इन एडिशन ऑफ द एग्जिस्टिंग इंडस्ट्रियल स्टेट एरिया एम एस एम ई मल्टी प्रोडक्ट पार्क आर द बींग सेटअप इन ऑल इंडस्ट्री एंड ऑल द स्टेट टू एड्रेस द सेक्टर नीड फॉर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन द स्टेट देर आर टू सेक्ट्रोकाल मेगा फूड पार्क इज इज द स्टेट वन इज डेरा सो फॉर सी फूड एंड एनदर इज रायगढ़ एम आई टी एस फ्रूड प्रोसेसिंग सेक्टर इज कंसिडर्ड आज ए सनरइज सेक्टर एंड हाज ए एम्पाल स्कोप फॉर द ग्रोथ इम्प्रुवमेंट एंड एक्सपोर्ट इन दिन द नेशनल कंसेंट एम एस एम इंक्लूडिंग एम एफ एम पी ई एस 
contribute about 45 percent to manufacturing output, more than 40 percent of export over 28 percent of the GDP. The sector diversity in terms for of the size of the enterprises, variety and production and service and level on technology and employment. However, the sector has the potential to grow the fast space in food processing sector. Odisha witnessed a remarkable 12 percent growth in 2023, particularly promotion in the regions like Khorda 15 percent, Ganjam 14 percent and Sambalpur and Sundargarh district. The major food processing player in Odisha, हमारा उसके बारे में तो हमारा secretary ने बताया आपको Coca Cola है, Britannia है, Nissan है, Milk Mode है, ऐसे तरह ऐसे पंद्रह major food processing player हमारा Odisha में अभी काम करते हैं। फिर इनकी को offering from the Odisha, Odisha में अभी क्या-क्या है? अभी Odisha में हमारा Kuchinda Chilli, Sambalpur हाँ जो इनकी को favour of chili powder, kanmal, turmeric is having high curcumin in content. Ginger growth in Kuraput has a unique taste and flavor. Arabica coffee from Kuraput. Odisha flavor encompasses not just the enjoyment of rich culinary tradition but also the discovery a wealth of uh, opportunity in the food processing sector. I am delighted to invite all the investor, industry, export and startup to come and invest in land of Lord Jagarnath, Orisha. We have the double engine government consider the uh, robots policy framework and the easy doing business, there would be no obstacle in establishing the project in the state of Orisha. My government will support all the entrepreneurs and their investment in food processing sector in Odisha. Thank you, all of you. You come to our place, Jagannath Dham. Jagannath Dham, IA, Odisha, me jo sare chari koti. लोगों का आस्था प्रभु जगन्नाथ जरूरी आपका वो जो सेक्टर में भी फूड प्रोसेसिंग सेक्टर में सहयोग करेंगे आशीर्वाद करेंगे सबको फिर जगन्नाथ धाम को पवित्र ओडिशा धाम को पुरी को मैं सबको स्वागत करता हूं जगन्नाथ मिट्टी को सबको निमंत्रण करता हूं जय जगन्नाथ बंदे उत्कल जननी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर सच ए पैशनेट एड्रेस सर नाउ आई विल रिक्वेस्ट आवर uh, young and dynamic director of industry, Sri Prasant Kumar Reddy, who is the most effective uh, implementation arm of our policies, Prasantji. Sir, thank you very much. Today's chief guest, Honorable Minister, Sri Ngokulan Malikji, Principal Secretary, MSME, Government of Orissa, other speakers, officers from MSME department and industries department, entrepreneurs, Students, everyone, I welcome you to this session. Our chief guest and the secretary has already given lots of insights and have also mentioned the reasons why you should consider investment in the state of Odisha. As you know, going into the specifics, we have three different policies pertaining to promotion of industries in general and also the food processing sector in particular. They are IPR, Industrial Policy Resolution. The second one is MSME Development Policy. The third one is Orissa Food Processing Policy. So whatever incentives you can think of, whatever support you expect from government, almost everything is covered under these three different policies. And any investor or an entrepreneur has an option to choose under which policy he is getting the maximum benefits. So that policy leeway has also been provided. So if we go into the specifics of incentives, so 
there are two types of incentives in general at a macro level fi financial and non financial so under financial incentives in the state of orissa we offer capital investment subsidy for the plant and machinery suppose you are setting up a plant certain part of the cost of the plant and machinery is calculated and reimbursed to you as subsidy apart from that there are other incentives like uh, for prom for promoting the solar energy for giving the gst reimbursement state portion once you go into the production and there is also subsidy reimbursement for the employment cost suppose you are employing lot of local people and your epf esi contribution is being paid part of it is also being reimbursed by the state broadly these are the financial incentives we do have other small small incentives and then coming to the non financial incentives there is always a promotion for providing land at concessional rates and exemption of stamp duty and also exemption regarding the lxd duty exemption so all these things are available so we have prepared a small booklet which is running into 7 to 8 pages all of you can visit our orissa pavilion which is in hangar 2 so there you can have a copy of this or you can have the qr codes pertaining to the incentives and coming to the food processing sector in particular under the food processing policy subsidy amount for capital investment up to the amount of 3.5 crores in normal cases and up to 4 crores in certain special cases is also being provided from the state government so as has been told by the earlier speakers and the chief guest orissa has a lot of agricultural produce and it is up to the investor or the entrepreneur to look for the potential to look for the opportunities in processing those produce and selling it either in the local market or in the markets or states which are nearby and even thinking of exporting this is a broad framework about policy and then coming to the implementation the structure is very simple you just have to approach two or three agencies and everything is through online suppose you have a claim you file through an online portal and everything is processed through online mechanism our offices are integrated the directorate which i represent here is integrated my field establishments are also integrated in the portal and then the investment promotion corporation of odisha ipcol it is also integrated so almost all the incentives or support whatever you require can be just filed online and the same can be processed at various levels so effectively it is promoting transparency and it also enhances the speed with which the appropriate proposals and the investments are either processed or encouraged so once again i reiterate that there are lots of opportunities in the state and it is for you to explore and for us to help you and facilitate you in realizing the potential and in also promoting the investments and thereby the employment for the people of the state thank you very much and we need to process it further to ensure that there is a sustainable value chain not just for the farmers but also the overall ecosystem without highlighting much on the policies rather i would highlight some of the implementation impacts which we have seen in our support with government of orissa in terms of working with director of horticulture or for that matter msme department as in uh, let me let me highlight some of the stories uh, you would have heard about a apo called sabuja santapalli somewhere closer in sambalpur they are the they are the uh, as, as they 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 choose a different traded path less traveled took a challenge of creating odisha's first floriculture apo now they have a vision and they have been one of the successful floriculture apo in orissa so how because of the enabling environment which orissa government has provided and there are so many examples of it as in we we we, uh, we supported through government of odisha support we supported a apo called uh, sotsunam agro they are uh, exporting uh, lemongrass oil from mayurbhanj to paris and that's kind of story which orissa is uh, odisha is bringing in 
while there, there are so many success stories in rural world uh, and, and in last, last recent last three or four months there has been great transformation of APOs and small businesses exporting vegetables, mangoes to Dubai market, to Singapore market and when, when, I, when I say ease of doing business, how policies impact, there's a minor policy change which Government of Odessa did in recent uh, couple of months uh, do, with, with, the, with, the, with the usher of export potential from the APOs, the change the policy of uh, cargo policy in airport having a limit of 750 kg to 1.5 metric ton. That itself changed the, the perspective of all FPOs to again come in with the help of EPIDA and so on and so forth to export. And I'm sure all of you in this room would have so many stories to tell. Of course, there are challenges ahead, but with the pol enabling policy, Government of Odisha is moving ahead with that. And I would conclude with my last example. In this room, we have another successful entrepreneur benefiting from, from, from the success of enabling environment which Government of Odisha is creating, our own Chokalaka, two, two ladies, uh, Ms. Santa and uh, Rita, they, they, they created uh, from uh, out of the blue uh, a fusion of chocolate and uh, millet and probably two of the, uh, as an out of the two uh, entrepreneurs who are showcased in Mopi stall, they are one of them and they are having great ambitions, probably the youngest achievers in the leaders for women leaders and in regards to the millet sector and, and, and I'm sure the benefit of PMFM scheme and various other government schemes, whether it is central or state government has benefited them. Uh, and I would want uh, a round of applause for those two ladies there. And with that, I conclude. Uh, and and when, when I, to conclude, when, when I say ease of doing business, it is, it, is, uh, it, is, it is about how exactly small business can be connected to the larger business and integrated in a better manner and make them stand up in a sustainable manner. Visa is how we create an enabling ecosystem for, for, uh, for all our larger business to come to Orissa. With that, uh, as, as Palladium, we are committed. Since last 60 years, we have been driving such inclusive growth across 90 countries, but Odisha and India is a different scale altogether. Whatever happens here is scale up across the world. With that, to the Lord of, uh, as in, to the land of Lord Jagannath, thank you very much. Thank you, Amitji. Our next speaker, he is a, uh, a doyen of uh, technocracy, administration, academics, long decades of experience in uh, agriculture and horticulture, and he is a very famous academician. Uh, I invite Professor Prabhat Kumar Rao, Vice Chancellor of OU at Bhubaneswar, to share his experience and growth opportunity. Good evening to one and all present here, Honorable Minister, Respected Principal Secretary MSME, Special Secretary, Director Industry, Dr. Kamalesh Misra, and also Mr. Amit Parjoshi, the CEO, Palladium, and all others before me, the officials of MSME department, the startups, the industry leaders, and in one word, I can say, the co-travelers the, on the path of food processing. I studied agriculture, and people often say agriculture and food are synonymous to each other. But truly, agriculture is not food. Agriculture has to undergo a process to be used as food, and that process is food processing. So unless food processing is there, be it by anybody in, inside the house, in the home, or be it in an industry, agriculture cannot reach at the level of a food. And food processing is the future of agriculture. If agriculture has to grow, obviously food processing can take it to a higher level. I have tried to put forth my views on uh, food processing and obviously why we are interested for food processing. Two, three things definitely 
prompts us, promotes us to go for food processing. The first and foremost thing is that this adds value to agricultural produce. Number two, this brings in more profit. Number three, it checks waste and the spoilage of a food or a spoilage of a agricultural produce at the post harvest level. And the most important thing is employment generation. So definitely this is well justified that it is a sun rising se sector and it is also the future of agriculture. Next please. I will try to insist upon three things to give you a snapshot of food processing sector, supporting policy and what are the advantages or strength so far as Odisha is concerned. Coming to the food processing sector, it has already been highlighted by our principal secretary and honorable minister that we are the largest producer of a straw mushroom. We are the largest producer of a sweet potato in the entire country, largest, second largest in jackfruit production, third largest in caju, fourth largest in fish, fourth largest also in shrimp, or prawn, sixth largest producer of coconut, eleventh largest producer of vegetables, and five percent of total spices are produced in Odisha. Three percent of total flowers are also produced in Odisha. These are the production clusters to add volume so that the business people can be attracted to have business and take away the things. These are some of the specific geographical indicators, indications of a products of Odisha, be it Noyagad Kantemundi Brinjal or Kandhamal Turmeric or our Ganjam Keoda, so also Odisha Rasugola, Mayurbhans Kai Chutni and many more, maybe Dhenkanal Mogji, these are very specific items which are available in the, on Odisha, on the soils of Odisha and definitely will attract all of us. Thank you, sir. Looking at the supportive policy, this has been already, is, uh, idea has been given, starting with the Odisha food processing policy. I have tried to compile these informations, maybe circulated, and these are also available in documental form with the MSME department. We have also different supporting policies like industrial policy resolution and more specifically I want to focus on Mukhya Mantri Krushi Udyog Jojana. This is being implemented by Agricultural Promotion and Investment Corporation of Odisha Limited, APICOL, with capital investment subsidy up to 1 crore and even the same unit can be renewed with expansion, modernization after a gap of 10 years, 80 percent eligible CIS will be released upfront and simplified online application processes and too much encouraging, I will insist upon that the entrepreneurs should take the advantage of such situations. But uh, behind this, these are the strength. Odisha produces more than 10 million tons of cereals and pulses, 1.48 million tons of fruits, 8.72 million tons of vegetables. Odisha produces more than 2 million tons of milk, more than around 2 billion eggs, and 608.10 tons of fish, and 1,000, 1,67,76,000 tons of meat. Odisha has four fishing harbors, have already been discussed. Our estimate, uh, indicate that cereals and pulses contribute around 15,000 15, crores, whereas the vegetables, foods and vegetables, fruits and vegetables, they contribute 40,000 crores. Only around hardly 10 percent are being processed. The rest 90 percent opportunities are still left that can be encast. These are some of the Geographical advantage, we have 10 agroclimatic zones, 8 nutrient soil types, 480 kilometers long coastline, abundant water resources, wide range of raw materials, 
diversified products and more particularly even today there is a abundance of skilled manpower and two exclusive industrial parks and 83.61 lakh hectare area under agriculture and horticultural crops. These are the strength and these unique products may be the Koraput coffee, Kuchinda chili, Koraput ginger, Kandhamal haldi or Chilka fish or Similipal uh, uh, honey. These are very specific to Odisha and the entrepreneurs may be attracted, may be communicated, may be invited to take the advantage of the situation and the, as of now, these are the players on the soils of on the grounds of Odisha on the land of Lord Jagannath. And many more are still awaited. I definitely on behalf of government of Odisha, I urge upon that let the entrepreneurs come to Odisha and Odisha has a stable governance and a very conducive ecosystem along with policy support <coughs> to support you, to support your business. All my best wishes. Thank you, MSME department, for giving me the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Professor, sir. Our next speaker is uh, the president of Odisha Seafood Exporters Association, and also he is a very renowned professor of branding and marketing. I request Dr. Kamlesh Mistra, president of Odisha Seafood Exporters Association, to share his experience on export opportunities from Odisha. A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Minister in Absentia, Principal Secretary MSME, Mr. Sharma, Director Industry Odessa, and CEO Palladium, Vice Chancellor OUAT. They have kept their views, data, information, and invitation for the prospective entrepreneurs to come to Odessa. And I request all of you to give a big round of applause for that, because that's a <laughs> great effort they have put in. So why Odessa? And I have been given specifically to speak on seafood exports. To tell you, I have understood so far that you know, business is marketing and economy is market. When we say the economy is down, the market is down. When we say business is doing well, economy is doing well, the market is doing well. So when I talk about seafood, let me just appraise you that the world market size for fish and fish related product is about $340 billion which is growing at a CAGR of about 6.5 percent year on year. And India in 23-24 had scaled up around eight billion dollars and if you calculate that's a minuscule percentage that we have achieved so far from India. The gap is quite wide and the potential can accordingly be calculated. We in Odessa which was uh, around 350 crores in 2008-9 it's notched up about 4,500 crores in 22-23. And that's increased the number of couple of players in 2008-9 to today about 50 exporters operating out of Odessa. And that speaks about the potential that's been harnessed so far, but that's a long way to go. We are definitely blessed. We are blessed with the bounty of water resources. And the product which is fish, which is also worshipped as the first avatar, is the perfect source of protein for rich to poor. Uh, rich to poor. So everybody's requirement to be supplemented in terms of protein requirement can be achieved through fish. And there is a market which is evolving, not only 
in the international sphere, in the, state, in the, the country sphere also, inside the boundary of the nation. And it's time now, it's time now to understand the requirement of the metropolitan cities, these class one cities, the class two cities, you now where the working couple, the working families, husband and wife both are working, are finding it difficult, come back home, prepare food or get it cooked by somebody else. So there is more of need for the cooked food, ready to eat food, ready to cook food. And that is where is the potential. We have the product, we have the fees, we can enhance the production of fees to a much larger extent, which is uh, growing steadily. As I gave you the figure of 350 crore export to 4,500 crore export, and that's not enough. There is ample scope in the, Lord, uh, in the land of Lord Jagannath for one and all to come, invest, cherish the peaceful state, have a peaceful living, and love to do business with the wonderful ecosystem that's been created over the years by the government with their relentless effort and the excellent support from the local people that you will be experiencing. Please come to the land of Lord Jagannath, start your venture, get into the sector that is food because the world of business revolves around three things, that is roti, kapra and makan. And if you look at, when I say roti, it's not necessarily roti, it is gehu. It is the machine that converts the gehu into atta. It is the cook, it is the kitchenette system that prepares the roti. So the entire gamut is related to food. Similarly for kapra and makan. So we are here for roti, we are here for food. Please come, see the place at the first place before you invest and I'm sure you will be lured, you will be attracted, you will be fascinated and you will not love to leave the place for all time to come. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. I once again welcome you all to come to my lovely state and explore the opportunity, make, it, make yourself big and let my state also enjoy the fruit of your contribution. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Professor Sa. Now, before we conclude the session, uh, quick questions or suggestions, if any, from the audience. No. So, <laughs> so uh, we'll be concluding the session. Uh, I express my gratitude to all the speakers, our minister in absentia, our principal secretary, our director of industry, both the professors and Amitji. Similarly, I extend my gratitude to all the participants who have uh, uh, patiently listened to the deliberations and hopefully we will be getting a, a series of investment proposals to Odisha and uh, it will be better for you, us and uh, our my home state also. Thank you. Thank you everybody.